everybody! This blog was originally planned as uh, stories of different people about their activities, hobbies, businesses, jobs that would be interesting to listen to and interesting for me to shoot and tell first and foremost. But no sooner had I started doing this blog than the war broke out with Russian invasion of Ukraine. All this total horror and nightmare I only managed to shoot one video about uh, humanitarian aid on my channel and then I decided that I needed to wrap it up a bit and focus on other things. People have also reconsidered their priorities. Some people have relatives and friends in Ukraine. I understand everyone. My mother was also from Ukraine and I still have a lot of friends there. And I understand everybody that right now people don't want to tell about their businesses on that horror background. But all this time I thought I wanted to keep filming. You can't abstract away the bad stuff anyway. You just have to do what you can do, help somehow, transfer some money, get in touch with people. I live in Warsaw now, I'm a Belarusian guy, but I live in Warsaw, I like it very much. I shoot video content, commercials and product videos, I shoot content for social networks, I shoot different interviews, uh, but I want to shoot for myself. Uh, that's only my opinion, but I think if you are only interested in your work, only your field, it limits you a little bit. That's not a bad thing, it often leads to success, because you sweep away everything unnecessary and you can concentrate only on what interests you. I think you must have some additional interests, uh, hobbies, activities. Everything needs to be rebound, everything needs to be refocused a little bit, and I think that I should start not from the other stories, uh, but from myself. I was born in the 1989 in Belarus, in Minsk. From an early age I loved to draw carried pencils with me every time and so on. Every piece of paper automatically became a sketch. If there is any draft and it is blank on the other side, not a word more. Everyone left the room and I had a new pen and nice wallpapers in my room. All done. There were several different uh, theme schools to choose from in the neighborhood, and as I got older the choice was obvious. It was a school with additional classes in drawing, dancing, music, theater, basically in all major creative areas to choose from. And right away I signed up for everything I could, including art class. As time went on, my love for the subject began to cool down and finally faded maybe after a year or two. Maybe it wasn't interesting to draw the classic student stuff, or maybe there were so many newer, brighter experiences around. And plus, of course, the classical hobbies of my childhood from the mid-90s, like uh, video games <laughs> and something like this. But after the institute I had a small attempt to start drawing on a graphic tablet, but beyond a couple of sketches, couple of evenings with a tablet, it did it not go further. And this year I accidentally found out about markers from Posca. This is not an advertisement, uh, I bought them by myself, and inside me I was awakened again by a forgotten familiar feeling from my early, early childhood. At first just an interest in the process, and then a clear desire to try. The history of the company began back in the 1886, that's right, not 1986, but 1886, in Tokyo. And the story continues to this day. Uni Mitsubishi Pencil created a revolutionary writing devices at the time for writing and creativity and this company produces them to this day. Posca markers themselves appeared in the early 80s. 1980s, when there was an incredible rise in graffiti culture. The marker has a sturdy, rigid tip with a spring to regulate the paint flow. With the same balance inside as paint cans, you know, to steer the pigment. The paint is water-based, but the colors are very, very bright. It dries quickly and there is a possibility of overlapping. And we can paint with one color on top of the other. Now the collection of these Posca markers has 55 colors. The collection has different calibers of tips, they are different thickness and shapes. And the nibs are also reversible and interchangeable. 
Plus, the marker can be refilled. All in all, it's a very professional tool that's well designed, does its job perfectly and it's a pleasure to hold and use it. These markers are used by artists all over the world to paint walls, uh, all kind of boards, snowboards, skateboards, surfs, uh, to paint various helmets and ammunition, various objects, game consoles, uh, joysticks, and shoes, claws, and even rocks. And after I bought my first eight colors of these markers, everything immediately fell into place. I started doing pencil sketches right away, practicing a lot, drawing with markers, and a lot of times it happens that you have something uh, doesn't go and it doesn't work only because you choose a different form of interaction or the wrong tool or the wrong subject matter. In my case, after a large amount of time, I like the physical process much much more than the digital art. Plus, I liked uh, the tool itself. That is not a brush, not a color pencil, but these markers, which I like to use a lot. And I like the finished picture on a piece of paper as a final product, because this is also very important, because when you draw on a tablet, you get only a digital file in the end. But maybe it's just all because I'm just an old school person that came with these markers from the same decade. So. Anyway, I drew and drew, I created some of my sketches, uh, I colored some, uh, some I didn't, uh, because uh, not everything is uh, so good, I still practicing, I still learning something. The original goal was not just paint on the paper, and uh, this goal directly connected with another hobby of mine. But this will be the topic of the upcoming video. In this video I will tell you about this hobby and explain how these two hobbies are connected. So, goodbye everyone and see you in the next video on this channel. If you like it, please subscribe, hit the like button and write some comments for me. Let's make a deal. I will film, you will watch.